And FP, my goodness, man. I mean, Bo and I have been talking on our pregame shows just about the type of games that this Nationals team has been playing. I, I can't remember a stretch like this in terms of consistent drama at any point in my time covering this team, much less this early on in the season. Can, can you recall any stretch like this just in terms of the night after night, game after game, dramatic tight ball games? Well, I mean, when your division is much better, you know, you don't have the laughers within your own division anymore. So now you have the Phillies, the Mets, and the Braves are really good, and you're going to be playing tough games within your division. So that was usually the time when you took a deep breath and won 8-2. to two. But now the Pirates are a tough bunch, and they were scrappy last night, getting at 3 in the morning the night before, getting to their hotel at 4 and scrapped out a win. Today, you know, Chris Archer was great. What are you going to say? But, yeah, that's the way I think it's going to be this year. So buckle up, Nats fans. I think we're going to see a lot of games like this. But real quick, we talk about the bullpen all the time. Dan and Bo, uh, Wander Suero today keeping a 2-1 to one game in the eighth inning, the sneaky hero. You know, we're all going to sit and talk about Adam Eaton um, and him getting everybody going with the home run. But give a lot of credit to Wander Suero for keeping the deficit right where it was. FP, how, how, how exciting is it to watch Howie Kendrick be able to do what he's been able to do early on in the season? We all know how, how difficult it is to come off the bench and pinch hit and get spot starts but as you sit and watch just the production he's had early on just I mean just elaborate on elaborate on that fact going from being an everyday player to being a bench guy and being and being able to hit in those situations well I mean in a lot of regards he's like Anthony Rendon in the sense that he has a quick bat and a low maintenance swing he gets that foot down early he's A to B as quick as you can be he has a knack for finding a barrel to the baseball he always had in his career right centers his power so when you have a low maintenance swing like Howie Kendrick you can afford to sit around sit around all of a sudden come up and hit a fastball he just talked to you guys about all the drills they do to replicate a fastball but there's nothing like get in the game so I mean he's just a natural hitter and whenever you call on him he's gonna do something to help his team win Bo, you know it's not easy sitting on the bench you'll come up in a week and 93 will look like 103 yes but for Howie Kendrick he simplifies it he's spread out a lot like Anthony Rendon his hands are right there boom barrel to the baseball and consistently he finds the barrel we've seen him for a few years now and it's just good to see him back you know we talked to him a lot last year and you know Bo when you're hurt it's just you know you don't feel like you're a part of the team you, you can't say the things you want to say in the clubhouse even though Howie Kendrick's a leader now he's leading by example so if he gets on a younger guy now you got to listen where when you're hurt yes. if you get on a longer younger guy it doesn't hold the same weight. FP last one for you let's let's not let the work that Anibal Sanchez did today go overlooked because now the Nationals have had three straight starts where a starter has worked deep into the game and given a bullpen that's you know had a, a, stuff, a, a tough start to the season a little bit of a break and Sanchez today was fantastic. Uh, what stood out to you about the way that he attacked this Pirates lineup? He you know what's coming and he's throwing strikes with all of his pitches and it's the same release point the same window uh, I mean you just don't know what he's going to throw so you, you can't sit on a pitch with Sanchez because there's five or six pitches and the odds of you guessing right aren't good. He doesn't tip his pitches everything comes out of the same window whether it's a change up the slider the cutter the curveball whatever he throws so what are you going to sit on you got to look at a zone off this guy and if he doesn't throw in that zone you're out of luck so his fastball was jumping today you saw some late swings and a lot of times with Sanchez even if the fastball is 88 89 you'll see late swings because of the off speed that sets it up but he could go right to the fastball today he could crack the whip on the heater because it was 92 and it had some finish to it so another great outing from an at starter the bullpen did great and just a great day for DC sports fans with the Caps win and the Nats win that was cool absolutely and all happening in such a tight window, that was awesome. FP, thanks for the time, man. Talk to you soon.